Welcome to Salcedo Paranormal. It is Sunday, November 27th, 2022. And tonight I will be sharing true paranormal stories from the web. As always, you can find all the episodes of the show along with links to social media and other ways to contact me at the podcast page. And that is Salcedo Paranormal dot podbean dot com that's s a l s i d o paranormal dot podbean dot com always happy to hear from you all whether you have comments or questions or topic suggestions or stories of paranormal experiences whether they're your own or from others that you trust happy to either read those or have you join me on the show to talk about them and um so the plan for this week is today and Tuesday, True Paranormal Stories from the Web. Tomorrow and Thursday, Paranormal News. And then Wednesday, um, the uh, Paranormal and the Ancient World. The um, I forget what I actually called the thing to begin with, but basically the um, the Paranormal and the Ancient Beliefs of Different People Around the, people around the World. And this week it'll be, we'll be talking about uh, Greece, Greek mythology and folklore. So um, I think that covers everything um, for this week. So I think with that, I can get to these stories. Um, thank you all for listening, no matter how you listen, as always. And um, so yeah, here we go with the stories. So this, one, this first one says, I live in a major city in South Carolina in a 19th century home, post-Civil War. There were random paranormal events when we first moved in. Doors locking and unlocking, items disappearing and then reappearing in plain sight, but only in the first week. Now there has been a steady repeating pattern of one book in a bookshelf being pushed out three inches. It'll take several days for it to move out. Always the same book. A book about wine. And it's very heavy. Big and hard bound. It happens even if we are away from the house. For days or weeks. I talked to a psychic who said. It was a couple who lived, lived here. And are happy we are here. And just letting us know they are okay with us being here. They were, uh, and this is a word I hadn't heard it before, bon vivants, she said. Um, and apparently that, I looked it up and that means something like we used to a luxurious, um, basically a luxurious life, I believe it was. And it says, anyone else know anything about this kind of rep 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 repetitious, excuse me, behavior <clears throat> so that is really neat i think in a way that there was random things that happened at the beginning but now it's just the way that contact is made whether it's with this couple if, if the psychic is right or with whoever is there it just does this one thing to let everyone know that they're there um i really find that amazing especially since it's just not anything dangerous. It's not like the book is falling or flying across the room. It's just coming out some away, uh, away from the other books. And um, so I really like that story. I think it's a neat story. And it's a neat activity that you can kind of obviously track and see when it happens. Um, so neat little story there as well. Um, just about uh, what seems like a harmless uh, harmless paranormal activity going on in this home that uh, obviously has been a part of history. So, um, so yeah, I like that story. I thought that was really neat. Um, these are all fairly short stories today, so this may be a quick show, but um, that's how it goes sometimes. So this next one says, about seven or eight years ago, I was spending the night spending the night, excuse me, at my girlfriend's parents' house. It was about 1:30 a.m. 
and I had fallen asleep to a movie with my girlfriend. When I woke, I decided to run upstairs to the garage to have a smoke. She was fast asleep in, the, in her downstairs bedroom. I proceeded to head down the stairs about 10 minutes later. When I made it about four steps down to reveal most of the basement floor beyond the header, I saw a girl with long dark hair wearing a nightgown straight on directly towards the stairs. I completely froze at the third or fourth step and could only see her hair and beyond down to her bare feet. I couldn't see her face, but absolutely clear as a person, no fuzz or distortion. This was high definition. My brain kicked into trying to reason. She looked kind of like my girlfriend who just got out of the shower. I'm guessing they may not look like they just got out of the shower because they're in bed. So anyway, says that she froze and I called out my girlfriend's name. She, she immediately spun off or spun and took off. Excuse me. This is not written the best to the bedroom silently, not a sound of footfall. I tore her off around the corner after whatever I just saw to see the bedroom door was closed and latched. No girl. I opened the door to see my girlfriend still sleeping under the blanket. I have never experienced the absolute confusion and adrenaline of that night since. Cannot explain it. So it does sound like they saw some kind of apparition. Um, I wonder if it was possibly the girlfriend maybe astral projecting. Could be if she was um, not aware of this. Maybe to her it seemed like a dream. Maybe she didn't even see that it was her boyfriend and that's why she ran. Um, I could see that happening, or it could be it was some other apparition, an apparition of someone else, um, and who was also still apparently possibly frightened, unless it was a um, what you would call residual haunting where this would happen no matter what, um, and the, just the timing worked out that way, where she turned and ran right after he called the name of his girlfriend. Um, either way, it sounds like it's a pretty solid sighting there. So, um, so yeah, neat story. And, uh, don't have a whole lot more to say about that one. But, um, so I guess I'll move on to this next one here. Let's see here. So this one says, so this must have been early 2000s during the summer after I was in third or fourth grade. My mom, had, my mom had just gotten a new flip phone. And if you remember back then, you could record audio and make it your ringtone. I was in the back seat of her van as she, my mom, I mean, was driving me home from her parents. We had just pulled out of the driveway when I took her phone to record the guitar solo that was playing on the radio. I honestly wish I remember what song it was, but I unfortunately do not. It was most likely a classic rock song though, as that is mainly what she used to listen to. Anyway, I recorded about a 15 second clip of the song to make a ringtone. But when I played it back, there were words and then they say what it said here, you know, which is, sounds odd, it'll sound odd when I read it, but it says, can you, can you, can you hear me, can you, can you, can you hear me, can you hear me? It says, it was very clear, and I showed it to multiple people that all heard the same thing. It kind of sounded like a character from a movie. Uh, and Apparently it's a Disney movie or animated movie. 
uh, saying it while gargling water, which was odd. And what was really weird is the last word, the last me that was said, turned back into a guitar strum. Could be a glitch, could be a ghost, I don't know, but I definitely had physical proof of something. So that's where that story ends. And that is wild um, to record one thing and get something so different um, on the recording that is not guitar. I mean, obviously, you can't even mistake guitar for a person, really, unless it was some kind of... I'm guessing that wasn't some one of those... one kinds where it sounds almost like a voice i know there's a name for that and i forget what it is excuse me but um it is quite the story there and the way that the sound apparently turned back into a guitar at the end of the clip um makes me wonder makes me think maybe there was someone trying to communicate um who knows why or how but they were trying to communicate, and that's how it happened. Um, but with just just that little clip, it's hard to know what was going on there for sure. But uh, amazing story there of a recording of um, what should have been what should have been one thing turned into another. So um, it would be amazing to hear that. But obviously, um, they don't say they don't have the file in, in the original story that I found online here and I wouldn't accept them too because that was if that was in the early 2000s I don't know how that would have been transferred um but um yeah neat story there so I have one more to go and this one says let's see here there it is it says a few months ago I was out on a walk with a few friends of mine I'll leave their real names out, out for privacy reasons, but I'll refer to them as J, D, and M. So the four of us were out on a walk nearing sundown. We were almost at the end of our walk because whenever we finish, we stop under a streetlight and gather around it. So we, we were smoking, and M asks what's that and pointed to the park which we were right next to at first we didn't see anything and thought that m was seeing things and called him on his bs it says then jay said says or said wait there is something and we looked back even closer this time i kid you not a wolf-like creature was slowly creeping through the park. Note how we are in the country. So seeing foxes and coyotes are common. But this thing was big. Like as big as your average six foot man. And even though we were smoking. We could see it was watching us as it walked by. We got right out of there real quick. We haven't seen it since, and I hope we never do. My friends keep saying they think it's a skinwalker, and I'm starting to believe them. And that's the end of that story. Quite the sighting there of um, dogman, werewolf, something. Something that uh, looked like a wolf, but on two legs. Um, walking through a park, watching them. Uh, so that's really amazing it's a good thing nothing else happened um <clears throat> so i don't know that's but you hear about that um it doesn't say where they were at but still you do hear about that that's not um that's not the first time i've found a story like that for the show so and of course here to on other shows and uh makes you wonder what's going on there are they some kind of biological creature that somehow just avoids being caught or is it something else that can change shape into that or something that can teleport or vanish and reappear um it's there's a lot of questions there regarding those kinds of creatures 
So, um, but yeah, I don't know. Hard to say with that. I'm very glad that I've uh, never had any kind of a close encounter with anything like that. That seems like that'd be scary no matter what's going on. Um, I always trust what I'm feeling in a situation, but uh, still the initial fear would be probably hard to deal with. Um, it'd take a lot of uh, focus to try to get past that, I would think, if possible. So, But um, that's all the stories I have for today. So, uh, of course, I'll have more of these on Tuesday. And um, I'll be back tomorrow night uh, covering paranormal news on the next episode of South Cedo Paranormal. Thank you all for listening. Have a great night.